Hi, this is John. Today is November 29th, 2011, and I can hardly believe that five months have already gone past since my uh, bariatric surgery. Um, I weigh 185 pounds, give or take a half a pound. Uh, I've lost 64 pounds overall, and my weight's pretty much plateaued for the last month. I really haven't lost anything in the last three weeks, uh, but I'm pretty much good with that. <laughs> My goal weight is 25 pounds less, and I fully expect to lose that within the next year. Um, the plan to do that is to uh, kick up the amount of exercise. I've pretty much done virtually no exercise this month, which would explain why I haven't lost any weight. Uh, but I haven't gained any weight either. And uh, my eating habits uh, are average. I mean, I try to balance my protein and carbohydrate intake. Uh, I'm not eating all protein. I am eating, able to eat some breads, like a bagel thin. Uh, meat intake is pretty much uh, cheese and dairy, yogurt. I love my yogurt in the morning. It's a good balance of, uh, I try to eat either low fat or non fat, mostly non fat yogurt. And that's pretty much balanced protein and carbohydrate. Uh, cheese sticks throughout the day, protein bars throughout the day, protein shakes. Uh, I had some of those at the beginning when I was a liquid diet months and months ago, but they really don't do my stomach all that well on a regular basis, so I generally don't drink very many protein shakes unless that's all I have to eat at the time or available to me. Um, as you know, you saw some of my comments in previous videos. I had uh, some issues eating meat, and um, I had a procedure done that was an endoscopy where the um, I had a procedure done where they just put a tube down my throat and basically used a, a balloon kind of like a stent to expand my esophagus, which had constricted during the surgery originally, and I didn't know this, um, and also to uh, expand the opening where my stomach and uh, where my pouch and my esophagus meet was constricted. So once they expanded that, or stretched that out, not my stomach, just the opening, um, I'm able to eat food just fine. I just, the only real problem I have is um, my taste buds have returned and I still love to eat. I just can't eat much of it. So my eyes are literally bigger than my head, excuse me, my stomach. And um, I have a habit of, of overeating still. Well, not a lot, but you know, more than I should. I mean, if, if I, uh, instead of eating half a portion, I'll try and eat the whole portion. And then about 30 minutes later, my stomach is reminding me uh, that you can't do that. So um, it's nothing to do with my stomach. It's all right up here and it's for me to overcome that uh, it's just it's just a behavioral thing after a lifetime of being raised to clean my plate and eat all the food you have because you never know what it's going to bring tomorrow uh, I'm still working on overcoming that um, but uh, I'm pretty happy uh, my clothes are uh, fitting much better I mean I'm wearing 35 inch waist pants which are actually too big on me um, and that's a real joy because I've uh, Last time I wore 35-inch waist pants, I think I was a freshman in college, so uh, which was a long, long, long time ago. Um, I can buy shirts right off the rack now. They fit. 17.5-inch neck, 33-inch sleeve. Uh, couldn't do that before. My neck was well over 20 inches. Uh, and I'm wearing large shirts now, which are actually big on me. Uh, before I had to wear extra large shirts or extra extra large shirts. Um, it's nice being to wear clothes that are a little too big on me for a change. And uh, I'm really enjoying that. So, uh, and I'm really going to enjoy uh, the coming year when I lose the uh, the next 25 pounds that I've got to lose. And honestly, at this point, I'm 185 pounds. I mean, if I lose 10 more pounds, I'll probably be really lean. Uh, if I can lose 20 pounds, great, but if I can't, I'm not going to be terribly upset about it because I feel like I'm getting into a healthy zone now. I know if you look at all the charts, according to my height and weight, I should be about 150 pounds. I don't know if that's attainable uh, without being uh, literally skin and bone. And uh, I'm not sure I want to be skin and bone. I've got some muscle mass. Um, still got that. And... Uh, you know, I'm not interested in losing uh, muscle protein. I'm interested in keeping what I've got. I plan on living a long time. And I think this surgery is going to help me get there. So uh, I see lots of my other friends and other people have, have 
uh, are going through the process uh, recently, and uh, I see they're making some great strides. Uh, I see one of my friends, uh, Miss Skinny Britches to Be, is doing great. Uh, I see Barry Atcher Bruce just had his surgery, and uh, I wish you guys all the best. I know your lives are like mine will be greatly improved as a result of the surgery and uh, being able to maintain where we're going. So, uh, good luck to all. And since it's the uh, end of November, I wish you all uh, happy holidays. Hope you have a safe and, and great holiday season. And I'll talk to you soon.